Hey guys, hey, it's Daily, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to live stream with your Osmo Pocket 3. Even though I'm showing you the Osmo Pocket, this is the original Osmo Pocket, isn't that crazy? If you wanna live stream to Instagram, to YouTube, to whatever platform that you desire, even LinkedIn, yes, LinkedIn, I'm gonna show you how you can do that or how I do that with my Osmo Pocket 3 setup. It is absolutely amazing and you guys have been asking this, so I am here to deliver and to show you my tiny Osmo Pocket setup. And I'm gonna share with you how I use it to live stream, um, how I use it to record YouTube videos. I'm actually using the Osmo Pocket right now for this video, so let's get into it. I actually just got off of a live stream, so I have my little setup here. It's not my usual setup in my studio. If you look around, we're actually in my living room. I'm on the floor and I have a floor set up that is going right now. P.S. You might see my husband in and out in the background. He's in the kitchen. Hey, babe. <laughs> so don't pay him any mind. Focus, okay? I'm actually gonna take you behind the scenes and show you how I use Ecamm Live with my Osmo Pocket 3 to stream to Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Sir, I'm recording. I'm, rec I'm anyway, <laughs> Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, Facebook, wherever you wanna stream to, you can do it with the Osmo Pocket 3. My preferred method is using Ecamm Live and I absolutely love using Ecamm Live because to me, it is easy to use. So before I take any longer <laughs> to go through this, I'm gonna show you exactly how I plug my Osmo Pocket 3 in. I am in front of a big window, so there's sunlight. I'm gonna show you exactly how I change my settings on the Osmo Pocket 3 um, to make it work right. Or actually, I'm gonna show you the accessory that I use to make sure that my lighting is consistent, that it looks okay, especially if you like the look that you're seeing here right now, you know, then you wanna pay attention. The last thing is I'm gonna show you all of the cords that you need. For me right now, I'm using two cords. I'm connected to my ethernet and the next cord I use, I make sure that I connect the Osmo Pocket 3 to my MacBook. I'm using my MacBook M4, but you can use whatever MacBook that you have, okay? And the last, I would say cord connection would be into a power outlet, but right now I'm being a rebel. I'm actually not plugged in, but that's because the newer MacBooks have really good battery. So let's go behind the scenes. I literally have a little floor setup going on and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. All right, let us get into it. Okay, so if you look here, you'll see my Osmo Pocket 3. This is what I'm currently using. You guys know what the Osmo Pocket 3 looks like. I'm literally sitting on the floor in my living room. I have it connected to a stand, so it's a little tripod. If you have the tripods from your phone, you can literally unscrew that and put the Osmo Pocket onto it. Just make sure you have that battery adapter so that you can have the thread for the tripod on it. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Now, the other thing is I have my MacBook right here. You can see it in front of me, and what you see here is Ecamm Live. So I'm actually recording while I create this video, which is kind of wild. And I can go live or record pre-recorded content with Ecamm Live, it's why I love it. So you see this right now, you see the Osmo Pocket 3, you see it connected to my MacBook. So I'll show you here. This is where it is connected. It is literally a USB-C three cord connected to the Osmo Pocket back there, and it is also connected to the computer. That's it. The other thing that I have is an adapter, and I'll put all these links inside of the description box just in case you want all of these things yourself. I'm using the DJI Mic Mini, so I've plugged the transmitter into the computer, and I'm using this adapter that allows me to plug directly into my modem for solid connection. So this little short plug right here, if you look right here, is connected. You can hardly see it, but it's connected to the modem in my living room. Like I said before, I'm on the floor. It's connected so that I have a solid connection while I am live streaming. And so the video quality is really great. The microphone is plugged in. I also have the microphone connected to me, so you see that as well. 
Now, the last thing that I do want to share with you is my ND filter. I love this ND filter. If you look at the quality that we're getting here, it's diffusing that light that's coming in harshly from the window and giving me this awesome, amazing quality with the Osmo Pocket 3. It's something that I absolutely love and I'm able to easily adjust my settings with this ND filter as well. It is just so cool. The last thing is make sure that you have your computer plugged in. I currently don't have mine plugged in, but that's okay. I charge my battery a lot before I actually even went live. And so again, I'm using Ecamm Live to do all of this. All I do is make sure that I have the live stream settings turned on and I make sure that I am connected to all the platforms that I want to use. And I will leave a link for Ecamm Live down below if streaming with your Osmo Pocket is something that you want to do. It is so good, it is a dream. And Ecamm Live has amazing updates to where I can control my Osmo Pocket from my computer. So do you see what that looks like? Look at that, I can move things around myself without touching the Osmo Pocket specifically. I can bring it back to center if I desire to. I can move it up or down. I can zoom in or out. Like I can do so much with Ecamm Live and the Osmo Pocket 3 and I just think that is absolutely amazing. The last thing that I would say I love using Ecamm Live with my Osmo Pocket 4 is color grading inside of Ecamm Live. I know a lot of you think about color grading all the time, <laughs> okay? And so it's something that you're like, oh my gosh, Saley, how do you get this kind of color inside of Ecamm Live? And that is actually because I use the ability to use a LUT. So that actually allows for me to change the colors inside of posts in Ecamm Live. So if you see my video on the Osmo Pocket, it looks a bit different from the video that you're seeing uh, here where I am talking to you because of the colors that I'm able to change and saturate. So inside of Ecamm Live, I do use a LUT. The other thing is I'm able to adjust that. So if I want my video to be a bit darker, I can change that in Ecamm Live, right? I can take that LUT off completely and you know bring it down and i'm just making sure that you're seeing like the changes so this is with no lut this is just with the osmo pocket 3 and some settings um are shifted but not all of them so this is what it would look like if i put my lut back on this is what it looks like. So you're able to play and change things around inside of Ecamm Live as well. Of course, use it at your discretion and you know, make sure that you're trusting your eye for your creativity and how you want your things to look. If you guys have any more questions about this setup, please let me know. I would love to answer. Let me know down in the comments what your questions are, concerns, thoughts, ideas, and we will discuss even more Osmo Pocket content below. I cannot wait to upload this and see what you guys think. And if you would be live streaming with your Osmo Pocket to Instagram, to YouTube, to whatever platform you desire, I wanna see it, let me know down below. <laughs> Take care guys, bye.